welcome to What's Up Ocala. I'm your host, Andrew Praver, and today I have my guest, Ali Pena. She is a realtor, property manager extraordinaire of our Great Expectations Realty. And we're just going to be sitting here chilling out and talking about all of the stuff that is going on in Ocala, real estate wise. So uh, buckle up for this interesting interview with Ali Pena, who has years of experience um, in, in real estate. So, all right, Ali. Go ahead and tell everyone who you are and how they can get in touch with you if they have more questions. Well, hi everyone. My name is Allie, as Andrea stated. I am a real estate agent and a property manager with Great Expectations Realty. And of course, I am focused in Marion County. Awesome. And how do they get in touch with you? So you can email me at Allie, A-L-Y dot F-L at Florida, realtor at gmail.com or my cell phone number 786-515-7640. Oh, I love Gmail. I know so many, uh, so many people have commented over the years. Oh, you have Gmail. That's that's not a real man. There are major companies that still even use Gmail. It's a really really good email email system. And so, it syncs yeah. to everything. It's great. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. So as a realtor, the most frequently asked question that you get is what? Well, I get this from both uh, you know tenants, owners, anyone really. Is how's the market in Ocala? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. It's always changing, so it's it always going to be a question. <laughs> it's always a different answer depending on the time. Mm -hmm. So that's why people keep asking it, too. Yeah. I'm like, what's it doing today? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to keep up with it, like, continuously right. on a daily because it, it does change, like, just mm -hmm. on a daily depend depending on events, jobs, anything. Okay. Well, how's the job market? Because I know there are some major layoffs going throughout the nation and we're even feeling some of that here just because those companies uh, may have a satellite office here or a branch office here or whatever you want to call it. And when they shut down, that means that we're going to lose more jobs here. So really, the job market changes just like real estate. And when, when jobs close, others open. So just really sure. depending on what is booming and in what areas. So for example, here in Ocala, I think anybody who brings their business, whether it's entertainment or restaurants or anything of the sort, will do great. That is true. We need more restaurants and entertainment for sure. And people are hungry for it. So you know you're going to do great. And not only that, but land is also very inexpensive compared to other areas. So if you do want to start a business, this is a very good place to look into. <laughs> so I know uh, uh, sending quite a few people, um, the, the different companies that are currently hiring and the jobs that they're hiring for. And so anybody that's out there looking for a job right now, there are so many large companies that are offering fantastic jobs with benefits here in Ocala. So if you want us to send you that link, let me know. Uh, you can go ahead and hit us up on the uh, YouTube if you're on there watching this. Uh, and you can actually see me, you know, actually struggling with the microphone. <laughs> if you're on the radio, then you're going to go ahead and send us an email at ger.expectmore at gmail.com and just say link for jobs. And we will go ahead and get that over to you. But there are, there are so many jobs available. It's, it's crazy. And you, you actually had somebody yeah. that just moved here. So the crazy part about being in property management is I get to meet people all the time, new people constantly, okay. and I rent to them. So I see where exactly they're coming from why they're moving here because mm -hmm. a lot of them move for jobs and really nice I had uh, a tenant actually two of them who just recently rented and they're airline mechanics airline mechanics is not yeah. something I would equate with with, <laughs> with Ocala Ocala. necessarily I mean I know we have the the airport here but I mean it's not like I can you know go and jump on a flight and fly you know up to visit family or something it's you know we to don't me, have commercial we don't but Believe it or not, there's so many different businesses for airlines that we don't even know about. Smaller planes, private jets, like there's just so many things that we don't think about on the daily because we don't see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm in any kind of business of shipping horses, but apparently there are quite a few oh, yeah. horses that have some major airline miles. <laughs> the, the one in Donellan, the Marion County um, Airport. Yeah. They do a lot of that. Wow. Yeah, so so there are planes coming in and out of Ocala. There They're just not commercial flights at <laughs> this time. At this yeah, time. we so. also um, I don't think we have like a large cargo planes yet, but I 
feel like we're going to move into that area soon enough anyways. Well, I know it's we're capable of it. Exactly. I mean, we're definitely, the airport is capable of doing all of that because we've had, um, for example, uh, when President Trump was in office, he flew into our airport when uh, when he was visiting Ocala or the villages. So, our, our, I mean, if you can yeah. fly in on Air Force One, you can definitely fly all in you need on is a landing. <laughs> So the landing strip is there. Like everything is there. It's waiting for it. It's just, um, it's just not quite there it's yet. It's just I don't catching know. up. Yeah. yeah. And we so. are getting more of those kind of jobs, even um, airline logistics and things like that. That's opening up as well, which is crazy, mm -hmm. but you don't think about it, well, but the, it is happening. <laughs> it's kind of a, a, a up for discussion anyway, because um, some people, I can't say a lot of people, but some people feel that. Uh, they live too close to the airport and they don't want a lot of the airport noise and they don't want planes flying overhead all the time. But that's not really what we're talking about. This would probably be one to two flights a week just as an option. We're not talking like, you know, we're not going to get like Delta Airlines in there or something. No, <laughs> Most we're likely. far from that. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice. It would be nice. But it's probably going to be, you know, a much smaller, more of a commuter yeah. flight kind of thing is just giving an option so um a and lot it is of, nice to have yeah. that those options it why is, not you know especially in an emergency like if i need yeah. to go up and um stay with my dad or something like that because he's in the hospital or something up in michigan i don't want to like try and figure out you know getting a ride <laughs> to tampa or orlando or something i want to go over to the airport get on a flight get on a flight <laughs> and get up there you know it's and you know I, I but that's not really an option right now not yet because i don't have um unlimited funds for a private jet so <laughs> must be one nice day. <laughs> <Maybe> one day. <laughs> at that point i'll just buy my own plane it'll be fine <laughs> like i've always wanted to have an extra plane sitting in the garage <laughs> along with all the other stuff my husband keeps in there hey there's properties with like their own landing strips so. <laughs> well well a, a famous example of course is our our neighbor um well he's kind of a neighbor I, i'll claim him <laughs> as a neighbor but over at john Belair, uh, oh, yeah okay. so yeah John oh, Travolta. So cool. yeah. 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 So. I never thought about it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you know. He I'll claim him as our neighbor. <laughs> I'm going to claim him as my neighbor. I mean, it's in Anthony. I live in Southwest Ocala, but I mean, that's about as close yeah. to an A-list celebrity yeah. as we're probably yeah. going to get. It. So I'm going to count it. But yeah, he actually uh, does live in a, a, a aviation community. Yeah. So, you know, he can actually fly his plane right into the hangar that's attached or you know just leave it outside he like need a mechanic he, he, i would imagine <laughs> so yeah i would imagine so i can't even imagine being a mechanic an airline or an aviation mechanic to john travolta that would be a really that'd cool be, job that would be so that cool. would be cool yeah <laughs> but yeah those are jobs that open up i mean anybody that has those mm -hmm. those planes are going to need somebody to maintain them yes i'm sure you know if you have a very very expensive car you're going to have a mechanic working on it so uh there's actually a job just to so. put gas in the plane you know i did see that i did i have actually i don't know why we're going down this strip but um i did actually take a discovery flight i over know i saw the, the video it was so cool it was great. but there was a lot of testing the fuel and checking the fuel before we even got started just to make sure that it didn't have any impurities or issues because one little bit of something can cause a major event. Yes, and I didn't want a major event, especially since my <laughs> daughter has way too much faith in me and she jumped into the back seat. She's like, let's go. Okay, come fly me around, mom. You know, so I'm like, this is great. Um, but no, if you go over to uh, the Ocala International Airport, there is a, uh, a few different schools, flight schools, and you can learn to fly a plane. And uh, there, the Discovery flight, which is just to see if you like it or not, if flying is really for you, uh, that is, it was very minimal. It was a little over a hundred bucks. And you go up in the plane and you have somebody, a, a pilot, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not alone. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you're not alone. You can bring a guest, one guest. And it was, it was incredible. So we went up in a Cessna. I did not realize there were pedals. I know that seems so stupid, but <laughs> I have never seen pedals on TV. They do not have that. There's yeah, just, they never show that. no, never there's show just that. the yoke. And, uh, one of the things that he was mentioning was, you know, I was doing like, um, you know, both hands on it. And he's like, you got to have one hand on the throttle and one hand here. And I'm like, I, oh, you want me to fly a plane with one, hand. one handed. And he's like, <laughs> that's what you do. And I'm like, ah, this feels so unnatural. It did not, um, 
it didn't take with me. I am definitely more of a passenger. <laughs> I found out that was my discovery during my discovery flight is I am not I'm not a hype person I'm, so you won't catch me flying a plane <laughs> it was, oh I loved it it was beautiful but I was more enjoying just being up in yeah, the air so I do experience. very much yeah I love that highly recommend anybody that wants to go and take a discovery flight see if they're into it because it's really not horribly expensive to yeah. get your pilot's license yeah uh, so and it's, yeah. it's very doable so but I mean nobody yeah. thinks let me, you know, I'm in Ocala. Let me go learn to fly a plane. But it's That's true. possible. There's That's true. so many possibilities here of things you can do, including mm -hmm. that new school. Uh, well, it's not a new school. MTI. They are mm -hmm. actually creating a whole new portion to them. Uh, and it's 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 good that we're seeing growth in other aspects because you're going to need it. You know, mm -hmm. like we said, the market changes. So as long as there is like growth and potential to grow, then you should be okay. <laughs> yeah. Now I've heard a lot of people kind of coming down on the, the Chamber of Commerce. They're like, oh, you know, all they want to do is create commerce. That's in the name. Yeah. That is in the name. Uh, that is their entire job description. If they were not creating commerce or uh, creating more jobs or opportunities uh, in a business fashion, there would be no point to them. Everything would fall apart. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> so, I mean, that is literally what they're there for is to create those opportunities. And yeah. I think they've done an incredible job. Uh, so, you know, I just, uh, kudos to them. I mean, we actually, we're so fortunate here. We actually have one of the best Chamber of Commerce in the entire nation. And they actually got an award for this. They have a whole slew of awards. So we are very, very, very fortunate to have the talent that we have for that but also the education i think is and a the care part. they give to it too oh they do you can't find that everywhere you know like the people that care are just something so important to a community to a county to anything yeah i think if there were just growth without without the planning without the, <laughs> the <laughs> if it was just growth to be growth and you know just more money or something like that but i don't I, I've never felt that um, and I've you know I've gone down there and and you know I'm not in any way shape or form working for them by any stretch of the imagination <laughs> I've made my dues but that's about it um, but it, it just feels like they really honestly care about the community and creating the best and the most possible for the people that live here and I feel too the schools here are just really good like the college here also like we have a shortage of electricians and um, even just car mechanics that fly off the sky. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, and I've actually looked into their programs and everything. They're wonderful. Yeah. They're very good. And we're getting more yeah. for MTI. That's, that's, they're actually creating a whole portion for automo automotive mechanics. Yeah. Wow, that's... Expensive. And we are not short of them. Yes, we, really we are. are. <laughs> yeah, my dad's a mechanic. Well, he, he would be offended if I called him a mechanic. He's a transmission <laughs> specialist for about 50 years now. So I grew up with the grease and the stuff. And you and work the, for the title. You get yes, the title. <laughs> yes. So I, I was in the, in the shop visiting him, sorting rings, if you know, you know. Uh, but yeah, it, you know, to have that kind of expertise, and it's really more computers. That's actually why yeah. he really wanted to get out of it was because it was no longer just the mechanical. It, it's a computer yeah. inside it's, it's, the it's transmission. Coding. It's It's so oh, many it's other insane. things nowadays with the new cars, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even imagine trying to work on even my oh, Prius. No, it, no, no, it no be, not for me. No, I would not even change the brakes. Like that's just not something I would attempt. And the older cars, absolutely. Yeah. pretty easy you know pop it off pop it on it's it's like legos not it's the new cars barely, no <laughs> the new cars are no 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 they no. really are a computer it's, they, it's yeah, they really are so you know having the education for that is key yeah because, and needed yeah needed absolutely so but yeah they're actually going to have aviation mechanics um automotive mechanics there's it's amazing i love that they're bringing in the vocational kind of training. i think if you're if you're a young person like just you know going to college or anything like that i think ocala has a lot of opportunity that isn't extremely like expensive yeah there, there's stuff you can look into so that you could build up i think ocala is just a great place to build up <laughs> yeah and that's that's true well they're offering this what i love is they're offering it for dual enrollment so there's going to be high school kids taking this this is fantastic yeah. i am nothing drives me more crazy 
then when you ask and everybody asks over and over, you, the kid turns 17, <laughs> they barely know how to do their laundry and everybody's asking them what they want to do for the rest of their lives. Yeah. It's so cruel. Uh, they don't know. <laughs> Have mercy on them. Don't ask that. Ask what they're into right now. That changes constantly. But having dual enrollment is fantastic because it allows them to have those discovery flights yeah. to figure out if they like something or don't like something without it being, you know, you have to choose your major. And and, and waste time huge. also oh, like yeah. doing that because it, it takes time and money to do that. So. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, our, our daughter is in dual enro enrollment. Our son was in dual enrollment. Um, neither of them went to the vocational field, but um, like, Lex, it, dual enrollment is fantastic. If you have a teenager, <laughs> make sure you go over to CF or over to MTI and talk to the dual enrollment person. Uh, this is a fantastic program, okay? They can graduate high school and get their associate's degree at the same time, free of charge to them or their parents, and the books are included. Yeah, it's, it's a great and expense and also just time saving. It's just oh, so yeah. good. And also experience too, because they're going to walk into college a little bit more also prepared. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> because they know what it feels like in a safe environment that they're familiar with to take a college course and exactly. to know that there is a lot of homework involved. <laughs> and you bet there is a lot of commitment there. Yeah, it, it definitely is a commitment. But even if they don't graduate with their associate's degree, even getting those college credits. It's amazing. Have you yeah. seen the charges on those books? It's like $300 a book. One yeah. book. <laughs> One book. That thing, you better be able to eat that thing. I don't, it's incredible how expensive those yeah, are. When so. I finished college, it was like 200 bucks for a book. Now I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's like 300, 400. Yeah, it depends on which book and, Ooh. you know, what it is and, and where it is and what it has involved and all of that. But yeah, it's very, very, very expensive. So to have that ability in our community for yeah. our high schoolers, to get that much college credit and to have those books and to have all of that, it's phenomenal. We have a lot of growth possibilities, which mm -hmm. I think is like the best thing that anything can have. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have that, that this is about it. Right. <laughs> I, would just, I love that they're trying to keep the kids closer to home too. You know, you don't yeah. have to go to a big, huge city to learn aviation mechanics. You don't. You can actually learn here and it's a fantastic location. And, and you know, I know there are some of the um, the companies like Duke Energy yeah. has been working oh, and stuff I mean, like that with us. So you can even get well, well for airline mechanics. I know that you study power plant too. That opens up a lot of different jobs for different company, for mm -hmm. electric companies. For oh god, it's just like open doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So there are a lot of possibilities with not just education but also with the job market. Yeah. And I think it's growing and it's continuing to grow. You just really have to look at what is needed um, and then kind of follow that, that pursuit because that's what's gonna get you places. Yeah, there's a really great um, report that I was actually showing uh, a couple weeks ago and it's through the RPR mm -hmm. report. So it's a realtor uh, realtor website, sorry. <laughs> but, for those uh, who don't know. <laughs> yeah, for those who don't know, there's a realtor website, it's RPR, and it has this uh, report for schools, and it's comparative, and you can do private and public and what their grades are, and I uh, actually have reviews from current and past students. It's fantastic. If you want a, you know, a report for uh, for your child or for your school or a school that you're considering, let me know. We will get it over to you. Okay. Uh, but it also has... Uh, reports for commercials. So if you are thinking about opening like a hair salon, you can look at different areas and pull a report and see if, how many other hair salons are in the area, um, what the traffic is along that road, just all of these really great commercial Did you know reports. That's actually a job that boomed recently. Really? Yeah, here in Ocala. Wow. So cool. There was not a lot. Actually, when I moved up here um, almost two years ago, now my God, I've been here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So almost it's okay. We'll keep ago. you. <laughs> um, there wasn't a lot of like barbers or hair salons. Hmm. So there were just a couple of them and that's about it. And so many of them have opened up now and they're so good. Wow. Guys, look around for a good barber. I 
I mean, it's important to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, honestly. <laughs> let's let's be honest here. Um, but yeah, think women care about their hair, but really, men really care about their barbers. <laughs> My husband gets a haircut more often than I do. But mine's exactly. just, you know, mine's a trim and and move on because I'm growing my out. It looks like January. I'm thinking we're timing the growth and it looks like <laughs> January. I can finally cut it off and donate it. So I'm so excited about that. Um, I am, I'm not uh, great with having long hair. I know some people do really great and they love it. And so I don't, it's, I, I don't it. either. I, I just put it back in a ponytail when I, yeah. right now it's short. But. <laughs> so yeah, it, it looks like in January, it should be just long enough to go ahead and, and, and do that, that cut. So I will be going to a uh, salon for that because I cannot even imagine what that's going to <laughs> <laughs> try it. <laughs> I'll be checking for those new salons in the area to make sure yeah. that we do have another Wawa coming in. Okay. So we'll have our sixth Wawa. Buckies. Um, and Buckies. <laughs> We're having Buckies. I can't wait. I've never seen a Buckies. Oh, I have you're never seen a Buckies. I'm dying. I'm dying for it to open. Yes, already. it is so so cool. So yeah, we and we're getting the largest one in the nation. I know. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. I, I've heard their chicken is so. I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> it. The whole place is just amazing. But to have one of the well, the largest one in the nation at that point is going to be just incredible. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It's going to be impressive. Uh, so it's going to be over 700 parking spaces, and there's no semis allowed. So, oh, okay. I did yes. not know that. No, okay, awesome. no overnight uh, parking and no semis. So this is more of a tourist kind of destination type thing. And it's going to be a little ways out of town. It's not going to be like right by like 200 or something. It's going to be. They need the lands. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they definitely need some area. Uh, the, it's going to be just north of where, you know, where the FedEx is and the Chewies yes. and all of that. So yeah, it's just, just north of that. If you guys are interested, that's where it's going to be. Uh, the highway entrance and exit for it is not there yet, which is probably why you're going, where are they going to put this? <laughs> well, the road doesn't exist yet. So that's where that's going to go is just north of where, where you can see on I-75, the, the Chewies, the FedEx and stuff, just a little bit further, there's like a pond and nothing. It's, there's, there's like a farm there with cows and that will be where the Bucky's is. So I can't say nothing because that is so somebody's farm. So when you see farm, the cows, yeah, it will be the Bucky's. That's, yes, that's <laughs> where the Bucky's is going to go. But it's going to have over a hundred gas pumps and over 80,000 square feet of retail oh space. God. That is it's huge. <laughs> it's so huge. So weird. It's so weird. But it is. We did that's go to fun. one of the smaller ones over in, this is one of the smaller ones. <laughs> <laughs> one of the, one of the ones over in St. Augustine, my husband and I, and it was mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. I've yeah. heard so many good things. Like I'm, I'm dying to try it already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but what was crazy to Builders me. Builders hurry. Yeah. <laughs> Get that road done. <laughs> the road for more reasons than just the buckies. <laughs> But what was crazy to me is how happy the employees were to work there. I loved that. I loved how they were all really interested in talking to us and they really enjoyed their job. That really came across more than anything. It was, I was like, I can't wait to have this employer in our area because they really do take care of their employees. And that's awesome. I have to say that here in Ocala, like, um, coming down from um, since I came up from Miami I have my own experiences um, and oh my god one of the first things I noticed which how nice the people who work here are <laughs> just the customer service people are just so they're happy to see you yes. which is so nice to feel <laughs> so you're not a bother when you come in yes, and buy things it's, from it's them. just very yeah. nice and I think it's also because of the work environment so yeah. we do have some nice work environments, I will say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I was at a restaurant the other day and I was just sitting there eating my lunch and not one, not two, three different people were in like an ongoing conversation with me. <laughs> and that's how it is here. It's very hard to explain uh, the Southern mentality. So if you're sitting there eating or if you're in line or something like that, there is an ongoing conversation. You yeah. don't need to introduce yourself or anything like that, but there's this ongoing conversation that you have. And you, so it's, it's kind of like your mid conversation with everybody. 
and, and you don't, like I said, you don't introduce yourself. You don't like, you're, yeah, it's, it's not it's, it's a not formal like a personal thing. conversation. Right. Like we're not going into details about our lives. Well, sometimes <laughs> they do, but that's, that's on them. But it's just a pleasantness and the way they speak to you. You mm -hmm. can tell that's that you, you're not bothering them. You know, yes. they're there to help you and they actually want to help you. Even, even on a, like walking into a Walmart here, <laughs> it's just something so basic to me, but Anytime I ask for help, they're just so nice and so welcoming, and they just actually show you where things are. Yeah, small I mean, things like the it's just it's it's like the bare little, little yeah small little details. You have a very really... low bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you come from a city. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well we're gonna be right back. Uh, so we'll, once we're back from the break, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the fun things that are happening here in Ocala this weekend. So you can go find some fun. Fun stuff to do around town, including Comic Con. There's oh Comic Con going on. And uh, we will also be talking about the stats. So hang on for that. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump into our real estate state real estate stats for this week here in Marion County over the last seven days. Currently, there are 2,444 homes available and ready to purchase here. So plenty of houses to go and choose from. New listings in the last seven days, we had 286. Price increase, 54. Price decrease, 316. Oh, wow. We've come down quite a bit in our prices. All right. Back on the market, we had 71. Sold, 210. Expired, 15. Leased, a big fat zero like usual. <laughs> Pending, we had 265. So people are still purchasing houses. Okay. They are definitely still shopping. Temporarily off the market, we had 16. Withdrawn, only three. Canceled though, we have 44. 40, wow. Yeah. National average interest rate is 8.071% for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. And of course, that 15 year I'm always encouraging you to check into is 7.203. All right, let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that you can do today and tomorrow. Of course, every Saturday on the corner of 3rd and 3rd downtown, you have the downtown market. It's a farmer's market and crafting and stuff. They've got fresh produce, food trucks, live music, coffee, mimosas. It's pet friendly. It's kid friendly. There's arts and crafts. There's a playground. It's awesome. You got to go check it out. And of course, as mentioned, we have Ocala Comic Con over at the World Equestrian Center today, 10 to 6. And tomorrow will also be going on. This is a family friendly, all ages Comic Con event. It's at Expo Center 1. There will be celebrity guests, comic book creators, vendors, and so much more. Tickets are required to enter. Kids 10 and under, though, are free, so bring them on out. Time to get your ducks in a row and race for the cause. The annual Donellan Duck Race is hosted by the Donellan Chamber of Commerce, and it is in conjunction with several nonprofit organizations, and that's going on today, 9 a.m. to whenever it's done, over at Swampy's <laughs> Grill. So you've been to that. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, if your children love to cook, this will be the perfect event for them. Salty to sweet, bread to cake, jams to jellies, meats and veggies, ages 5 to 18 years old. Children will be evaluated by judges. Prizes will be given to elementary, middle, and high school. So the first place will have free classes with some local chefs and bakers. So if your kids are into this, this is going to be great. It's going to be going on tomorrow at the Ocala Downtown Market from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. All right. I think that's about it for us this week. Yep. Well, okay. Thank you so much, Allie, for joining us. You're just such a bright ray of sunshine all the time. I do try. <laughs> Go ahead and tell everyone again who you are and how they can get in touch with you. All right. Well, bye, you guys. Again, my name is Allie Pena, and I am a, with Great Expectations Realty. I am a real estate agent and a property manager, so I do both. Um, and you can find me at ally.com. FL like Florida realtor at gmail.com or you can send me a text message or a call at 786-515-7640. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye-bye. See you next week.